for a while so if you guys want to see how I created this look please keep watching all right guys so let's get started I haven't done a tutorial for a while so if I'm a bit crazy in this video excuse me guys I have already got my foundation base on and then I've also done my eyebrows I have tried like a different technique for my eyebrows recently I've been doing a bit more feathery in the front and more like hair like strokes it just achieved more of like a bushier eyebrow and I've been liking it if you guys want me to film a video about how I get like this kind of brow even though my eyebrows are tattooed underneath let me know because it's really easy so I'm going to get started on the eyes I haven't got any eyeshadow base on I personally don't like putting eyeshadow bases on because sometimes I feel it stops blending out my eyeshadow but if you have a really bad problem with your eyeshadow creasing and stuff then go ahead and do that now the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer is really really good that's the one I recommend if I do use an eyeshadow primer so we're going to be starting off on the outer corners first today and then we're going to be blending it out and then start cutting out the crease and all that good shit so I'm going to start off a blending brush. This is from Makeup Addiction and it's just called the Soft Crease Brush. And I'm going to go in with Dominique Cosmetics and this is the Latte Palette. And this is what it looks like inside. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going to start off by using the shade called Caramel first. And I'm just going to start by blending this inside of the crease. It's like a warm orangey transition colour. So if you don't have this palette, just use any other matte transition shade that's quite light that goes with your skin tone. And this is just going to go outside in the crease here. And then slowly we're going to fade it in. So I literally go in like circular motions and I blend it down. I've been getting a lot of requests to do more eyeshadow looks with a pop of colour. I used to wear colour all the time guys, but recently I've just been loving more browns and stuff. I think also because I haven't been getting any eyeshadow palettes that has really good pops of colour in there. That's probably why I haven't been doing like really bright eyeshadow looks. So if you guys have any good makeup brands that has amazing like bright colours, that's good pigment and really soft and blendable, please comment them down below. Okay, so now I'm going to use a slightly smaller brush. This is the Morphe M507 brush. It's one of my favourite brushes because it's really small but it's quite fluffy at the same time. So you get a really nice precise blend. So I'm going to go in with this shade called Mocha. These eyeshadows are really nice to blend but I definitely find they do give fallout. So if you're not that confident with really pigmented eyeshadows, I would probably say maybe try doing your eyes first and then your foundation because then you can just wipe this all away with a wet wipe. I normally just make sure all of this under here is just powdered so when I wipe any fallout away it just doesn't stick, it just sweeps right on off. So you guys can see this brush is a lot more targeted and I can get right uh, inside the crease and kind of build up that depth inside the crease. Okay, so now that I've done both eyes, I'm going to do a little bit of a cut crease. Your girl hasn't cut a crease in a while. So I snooped out in my drawer this eyeliner here. I haven't got to use it yet properly, but it's from Inglot and it's called 68 AMC Eyeliner Gel. If you guys haven't tried Inglot gel liners, you need to go and get one because the 88 number black gel eyeliner is the best. Might as well dry it out, but it is the best. I just go get a new one myself. So this one is a nude one. I actually have never seen a nude gel eyeliner before. So if you love having like a really bright lash line underneath here, maybe you need to try it. Actually, I might try it today. Okay, so I'm going to use a little concealer brush. It just doesn't have a name, but it's just any flat brush like this. And with my gel eyeliner, I'm going to go and dip in make sure my brush is loaded. So you want to make sure you use a really flat, synthetic concealer brush for this because you want to make sure you get the crease really nice and sharp so now i'm just kind of like etching out the shape that i want and i kind of always try to do it with my eyes open rather than close my eyes so i can see what my crease will look like when my eyes are open the worst guys is when you close your eyes you do a major cut crease and you open your eyes is that you're folded in i struggle with real girls so i'm literally just do like small little strokes and then once I kind of got the shape I can just go in with a cleaner line and then just really like carve that ish out. And then I'm kind of like putting this colour all over the eyelid as well so when we put our blue on the lid it's going to pop extra hard. 
But when it goes to like this middle bit, can you guys see it's kind of looking like skid marks here? It's not blending really nicely. So what I do is I just use my finger and I just kind of like blend this bit out a bit more. It's a bit hard to do with a brush. But you can do like really light strokes as well and then just blend it with your finger. So it has a really nice smooth ombre finish. This eyeliner dries really, really fast and it's super waterproof as well. So you have to kind of work quite fast. If you don't have this eyeliner, you can just use like a concealer, but try to use a concealer that's more like a cream base rather than like a li really liquidy concealer. You can go like really, really high as well if you want your eyes to be really big. I want to kind of keep this kind of brown bit here, so I'm not bringing it too high. So on my eyes, I'm going to use one of my favourite colours of all time guys i love colors like this this is a color from nyx it's called mermaid it doesn't have a name at the bottom but it's basically one of the refillable pans you can put in any eyeshadow palette and this shade honestly on the eyes is so pretty i don't know how to describe it guys it's literally like a mermaid color it's like a tealy greeny kind of color i haven't found any other shade like this but i love the shade so much going in with a Diego Della Palma number 8 brush, any flat shade of brush it will do, and I literally just press it right on top. You want this brush to be quite small so that you don't kind of go on top of the crease line that you did. This brush is really nice and flat so I can literally even carve the crease again with this blue shade. Oh, it's just so pretty, I love it so much, like sea foam blue. It's not a teal, this wouldn't be classed as a teal. I don't know how you would class this colour, but one of my favourite colours of all time. It has a gold reflex in it as well, so it gets even prettier in the sunlight. And I just kind of pack it on, and then when you get to this middle bit here, I just kind of like fade it out. I don't want it to be a harsh line. I almost want even like the orangey transition shade to kind of blend in. So what I also do is I go back in with that crease shade, and I just blend right on top, so there's a really nice gradient in between the colours. And kind of just even dab as well, so I'm not swiping, I'm kind of like patting the colours to merge them together. Okay guys, and then also on my waterline here, I'm going to do a nude. You guys know normally I do like a brown or black. I'm going to switch it on and put this nude colour also inside the waterline. I'm just using like some old ass crusty brush. I don't even know where it's from, but just any flat, small liner brush. I'm just putting this into my waterline. And this trick here makes your eyes look really bright. And also because it's a gel, it does last so much longer than a pencil. Yeah, see the difference? Looks a bit more like I'm awake. And then I'm going to use an eyeliner. This is a brand new one from Laura Geller. It's called Line and Define. And this is in the brown black version. I know it comes in quite a few different shades. So basically with this, it comes with one black liquid liner on this side. And then on the other side, it has a brown coal pencil. And I'm just going to line my bottom lash lines. This will make your eyes look even wider. And then I'm just going to blend this out as well while it's still wet. This technique here to kind of line underneath your lash line, it just gives you that kind of like dull eyes effect. And then I'm just going to use a bit of that mocha shade and just blend that out. If you guys want your eyeliner to last, if you layer it up with a cream product and then a powder product, it will make everything last so much longer. If you get a problem, you're increasing, your eyeshadow fading throughout the day, this is the technique you need to use. Okay, so then on my eyes now, I'm going to use the other side to line my eyes. I'm going to try this out for the first time, so let's see if it's really black. So I'm going to put my pinky finger to rest on my cheekbone, start off my wing. It's actually really nice and black, which is good. And then I'm going to go back down into a straight line. And now I'll just literally fill in my lash line. So that bit is like the hardest bit. I do have a separate video on my channel about how to do winged eyeliner. So go check that out guys. Subscribe to my page while you're here. <laughs> and now I just literally use the edge of the felt tip. And now I'm just like pressing it along my lash line. And you want it to be all connected so it's really smooth. Even when your eyes are open, when you tilt your head, when your eyes are closed. Okay, so now I'm just going to apply on lashes and mascara and I'll be back. Okay, so now I've got my lashes on. These are Lily Lashes, my favourite lash brand of all time. And it's in the style Mykonos. So Mykonos and Miami are my two top lashes ever. Because they're so nice and fluffy and I feel like they get really, really nice and smoky by the root. And then I just added a bit more of that mermaid shade just on the inner corners here. Just so it wasn't so harsh. Because I love a little pop of colour on the inner corners. Okay, and then now on the lips, I'm going to go in with this tart lipstick. It's called Skinny Dip. It's one of my favourite nudes when I want like a really light, pale, peachy nude. I'm just putting this all over. I've been having a really bad problem with my lips being so dry recently. This shade when you have a tan is freaking so pretty. Okay, then on my lips, I'm going to use this gorgeous lip colour. It's one of my favourites right now. It's from Laura Geller. It's called the Colour Luster Lip Glosses. 
and it's in the shade Gilded Honey. They literally just recently brought out like a whole new range of their Gilded Honey collection. And if you guys haven't tried Gilded Honey highlighter from Laura Galabish, you need to try it. This is what the gloss looks like. It's super sparkly and very, very glossy. It has more like a peachy tint to it. Gloss is so pretty because it doesn't have like a sticky tint to it. It just gives a really high shine to the lips. Which is actually really hard to find in a lip gloss. So if that's annoying, you have to go back and forth quite a few times because I've got some big old lips and one application does not fit my lips. I have to keep dipping in like 10 times. And then just set everything together, I'm going to go with my Festival Refresh Setting Spray. And this actually has little particles in it, so you have to shake it up. Shake it up! Shake it up! It turns purple! It's so cool! And now let's just spray this all over. Mm, it just smells like candy. It just gives your skin like a really nice glow. So if you guys like how this look turned out, please let me know down below what other colours you guys want to see. Do you guys want to start seeing more colour on my channel? I love the mix of putting like browns with like pops of colour because I feel it looks a bit more modern you know so let me know if you liked how it turned out and if you like my earrings these are from pretty little thing also if you guys haven't yet please make sure you subscribe before you leave follow me on all my other social media platforms it's just x Twilly on snapchat twitter Instagram, and facebook and i'll see you guys in my next video why does my hair look like a fucking frizzy sack of shit if you guys haven't yet please make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to see how i created this look that was shit wasn't it okay on to the next video I love this green so much. I need to put on this deodorant as well because it just goes with the colour, you know? Yes. Yes. Ta yes. Mmm. -hmm. That was really obvious. And also, can someone tell me why I have these earrings twice? <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Embracing the trend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm taking it all out, guys. I think I'm just going loony now, guys. See you in the next video.